Eric Fosfit, head mechanic, Bontrager Cycling Team. I'm the head mechanic for the team, I first and foremost make sure the guys have safe equipment to race on. Uh, includes maintaining the bicycles, building the bicycle at the beginning of the year, transporting the equipment to and from the races, uh, making sure they have the fastest possible equipment available and the safest possible equipment available. Started working at bike shops uh, when I was about 16 years old. Um, from there, it just kind of snowballed into this job. I mean, it's uh, spent about 10 years or so working in bike shops around Boulder, Colorado, and then started rolling into working for teams and ended up here. Uh, normal race days typically start with a 5, 5.30 a.m. wake up, um, breakfast out to the trailer, prep the bicycles for the race, which pretty much air up the tires. Uh, we do all the prep work at the night. Um, so air up the tires, load them onto the vehicles for the transfer to the start, if there is a transfer to the start. Um, make sure we're set with spare bikes, spare wheels, spare equipment, make sure the car is ready for the caravan, uh, and then transport to the race. Um, at the start, it's really just putting stickers on the car, putting caravan numbers on the car. A uh, little arts and crafts time. And then um, the race. Uh, during the race, it's five hours at 30 miles an hour. I have the axle chauffeuring me around the countryside. <laughs> um, at that point, it's really just maintaining the bikes during the race. If the guys have a problem, they can come back to the car. We can service their bikes either from the car or on the side of the road. Uh, changing flat wheels. You know, Hopefully there's nothing wrong. You know. Uh, and lots of handing water bottles up to Axel during the during the feed moments. And then at the end, once the race is over, everything goes back on the vehicles. We transfer back to the hotel or wherever we're staged for that night. Um, wash everything, and then do the race tunes. Reprep the bikes for the next morning and proceed as <laughs> and repeat. <laughs> awesome. Dude. Race, wash, repeat. How about that? <laughs> the camaraderie, for sure. Um, the way, just the, the general feel around the team. Um, I mean, I've, I've worked in a couple different situations. I've worked with some of the best riders in the world, but these kids are a special bunch. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously they're extremely talented cyclists, but they're good people. They're fun to be around. There's a lot of laughing. There's a lot of just good friendships, good bond with the team. Well, I mean, for sure it's his the, the knowledge base that he has. You know, I mean, that's... It's valuable for the riders, but it's also valuable for me. Um, his understanding of the sport of cycling and, and racing the bike is is it's in depth. He's got a lot of knowledge, uh, drawing from a very expansive knowledge base. So it benefits me. It benefits what I what I do to the bikes, how I prepare them, how we make decisions on equipment free from day to day. So I think that's probably the best thing working with him. Showing up to camp and having to change frame sizes. <laughs> um, they haven't really learned. I mean, it's they're young kids, uh, with especially with the Neo Pros, the guys who are coming from teams where they haven't had a mechanic, they haven't had the kind of support that we get from Trek, that we get from SRAM. Um, so we've run into a couple situations where, you know, last minute changes, last minute frame size changes. Um, when you there is a little bit of guessing that that we do that I do in conjunction with Trek on frame sizes and things like that. That you know, when we get here, we need to do a last minute change and stuff. So that's probably the most challenging thing is just making sure that everybody has the right equipment for them, based on the knowledge they're coming from, you know, and then getting them into the rhythm of being a professional, um, teaching them, you know, what they can expect from the technical side of the program, what information they need to share with me in order to get them comfortable on the bike and comfortable in the races.